Greetings. Today I want to remind you to be aware of the monsters that you create. Along our journey, we will see fear expressed in various different ways. But it is upon ourselves to make the choice to acknowledge and remove the fear. In doing so, we allow the power that is within us to be our own. We take control as much as we can in what we perceive. And in doing so, the monsters that we perceive will remove themselves. Now, when I speak about these monsters, I'm talking about the the ideas, uh, the beliefs, even the people at times, they can invoke a sense of fear. It's okay. There's no judgment here because we all have these forms of expression in our journey, in our lives. However, when we interact or choose not to interact with these expressions, we can see a world of difference in how we perceive our reality. Now, when we have certain ideas and beliefs within us that are expressed outside of us, they can appear as giants. They can appear as overwhelming obstacles. They can appear as unrelenting forces placed upon us by others, but it's not the case. It all starts within us. We do create these uh, situations, if you will. I'm not telling you that the world is bad because of you. The world is not bad because of me. But how I choose to perceive the world will be reflected back to me. So I do play my part just as you play your part in your reality. It's okay. However, as we go through our journey, if we don't recognize that we are the Dr. Frankenstein of our reality, then we, we lose accountability in the creation of the monsters. It's okay to know that something is of your own creation. However, if you created it, you can destroy it. If you brought it forth, you could remove it. That's the power that you have. And oftentimes it can be quite easy to get lost. Lost in the situations. And forget who we truly are. That God that truly dwells within us. That light within us that projects out. And shows us the things that we find pleasurable. Shows us a thing that we don't find so pleasurable. It's also that light within us. That casts the shadows in our life. And only in knowing that we are the true creators of our reality. Can we change how we perceive the shadows? It's all within us. Sometimes we will fret. That's okay. Make a different choice. Choose another perspective. Change your focus. These things may seem so minor, but the smallest change can have the, the greatest effect along your journey. Believe in who you truly are. Sometimes the monsters that we see in our lives are there truly to help us. It allows us to focus on the awareness or the things that we are aware of or the things that we perceive. Sometimes those monsters are larger than life. And I am of the belief that when we do encounter those situations, ideas, people, what have you, and they appear to be so magnificent. 
it's because in that moment, in those episodes of our life, we have the opportunity to show that either those fears are smaller than we thought and we made a mountain out of a molehill, or better yet, we are larger than any perceived obstacle or expression of fear that we see. Either way, the power resides within us. We can't give it away. And we do it to a certain degree every day. But calling that power back, recognizing the true source of that power, that is where we find the grace within ourselves. That is where we find the love, the peace within ourselves. That is where we learn to express in ways, methods, modes that are true to the essence of who we are. That is where we take control of the function to create the form. It's beautiful. So remind yourself as much as you can. You are the creator and the destroyer of the monsters. You don't have to allow yourself to fall victim. And even if you do, you do not have to stay the victim. And no, the maneuver, change the choice, change the outcome, change the input, change the output. It's simple, but not always easy. But I want to remind you who you truly are. I need you to know that you are wiser, that you are stronger, that you are more powerful than any other being that you have encountered on your journey. It's not about dominating the exterior world. No, it's about the inner world. And as long as you take ownership of that inner world, you have control over the forms that are displayed in the outside. It's simple, not easy once again, but that's fine. Move forward with the love of who you authentically are. Be who you are. And don't look for the outside form to be the validation of who you are. Know that you are the creator. So create in love. When we create in hate, we feed those monsters. We feed the fear. We feed the doubts. And for what? Why nourish the poison? Build upon self. Build upon a divine love and spirit that has created the spark that is your life. And know that no matter what, everything will be okay. Be blessed.